Hello and welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Sunny. Today you'll be learning how to cut cabbage like a pro. So this is yet another installation into our Back to Basic series. Back to Basic is going to cover things like simple knife cutting techniques, cutting up fruit, cutting up vegetables, butchering meat, butchering fish, helping you find trustworthy kitchen gear and equipment, as well as just basic cooking fundamentals. If you're brand new to cooking, staying on the Back to Basics for a little while to learn some things could be a good idea for you. I understand that as you're finding these Back to Basic videos on YouTube, you may just be getting started with cooking, and you may not even have something like a trustworthy knife yet. I've taken the liberty to put four knives at different price points in the description box below this video. You'll have to click that show more button to reveal those links. So I just want to go over the price point of these knives. I think there's one in there for everybody and they're all brands that I know and trust. So all those knives down there, they're all 8 inch chef's knives. So I just wanted to get that across first. That's just the best size I think for an all around, all purpose knife. The first is a Mercer coming in at $14.99 which is just absolutely mind blowing. Uh, the reviews on that thing are incredible. I've never had one, but people are saying amazing things about that knife. And if you're on a real tight budget, that would definitely be the knife for you. The second one is J.A. Henkel's coming in at $43.99. That's a very good mid to low range one. This is a knife that I've gifted to a lot of people. It's really light, stays very sharp. I would highly recommend that knife, especially if you like a lighter knife. Third knife is a Shun coming in at $79.95. So we're getting into that sort of mid range with the knife now. Shun is a trusted brand. That knife has a little bit more of a unique shape, so I would definitely read through some of the reviews to see if it's the right one for you. And finally, one of my favorite knife brands ever, Mac, coming in at $144.95. This is a little more expensive, but if you're looking for something to last you what would be probably a lifetime, then the Mac would be for you. This, these knives are just so reliable and for the price point, you really can't beat it. So I think there's a knife down there for everybody. We've got those four price points. The first thing you're gonna need when you're getting into culinary is a good chef's knife, so I would start there. And I'll be going over much more as far as finding you some good equipment and knives. First things first, you might wanna take off some of these outer leaves. You know, I usually do a few. I'm letting it whiten up a little bit, meaning get those dark green leaves off you know and I'm happy with that no reason to waste more than that so I know it's on a lot of videos people will tell you to take out the core now I don't like that way it just makes a mess it's hard to do and I think it's dangerous actually so let me show you what I do so I'm just gonna take my chef's knife and I'm just gonna cut the whole thing in half and so you can work your way down and now if you feel comfortable hold this in place and just tap it down and you'll get a real nice even cut there. So that's our halved cabbage. As you can see here, the root on this one is very small. Sometimes this will extend all the way out here and is a lot more work, but we got lucky here. So let's move on to the next step. So I'm just gonna slice this into quarters, lengthways, just like before. So then we have our quarter and we have our heart exposed. So what we're gonna do here so we're gonna cut away some of that root, but you have to remember something about this, is this is holding all the leaves together. So you don't wanna cut all the way through that, otherwise your cabbage is gonna start falling apart. So keep that a little bit intact. So if you're trying to do this with a knife, you're gonna keep that cut edge, inside edge, pointed towards you. You know, and you may not be able to have your knuckles on the knife like I do, but I would rather you start back here like this. Don't do this. This is just, this makes me nervous even thinking about you doing that. Just keep it back here. And as you feel more comfortable, then just start working it towards a knife. The knuckles are always just gonna guide your knife, right? If you're serious about cooking, you're gonna wanna start doing this as soon as possible. So I'm gonna start slow and then I'm gonna increase the speed to show you what we do, how we would do it in a professional setting, right? Speed is important, but for you guys at home, right? You're gonna wanna start just very small. Just go like this. It's a shame to cut cabbage too thick, right? The thinner, a thinner is better. So then as you get more comfortable, you keep increasing your speed. And you keep cutting like a machine. So you've got a very nice shred on that. But let me show you another way to do this. Another way to do this is to use a mandolin. It's a tool that I love. It just makes it foolproof for slicing vegetables very thinly. 
It's a very dangerous tool. You have to be really careful with this, but I would definitely recommend any serious home cook who wants to advance. This is gonna be a must have for me. So on the bottom of the mandolin, there's just this one little dial. I like this one the best because it's just so simple. And so I'm turning it to the right and what's that do what that's doing is raising up this. By turning it to the left, I lower this, which begins to expose the blade. So this little shelf is dropping below, and now it'll catch that blade. So you can just adjust that to the thinness you like, and we'll start slicing. Just putting the top right down, and just slicing. With no effort at all, you get this amazing, you know, I could even go a little thinner, let's demonstrate that. That's pretty darn thin, let's try another one. This is like as thin as I can go. So I don't care if you're Gordon Ramsay or Marco Pierre White or Thomas Keller, you're never gonna get it that consistently that thin with a knife, it's just a fact. Something else you could do here to make it easier to cut is to make those quarters like we did before. And then so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the quarter into an eighth. So now our whole cabbage would have been in eight pieces like this. And this can be good because it's just a little bit easier to slice because it's not so tall. If you wanted a thinner coleslaw, this is how you would do it. So I'm not a mandolin, but I'm pretty darn close, right? But that's, that's 15 years in the works. Maybe you're Irish like me. Uh, I'm a descendant of Robert Emmett for any Irish people out there. If you're doing a corned beef, you know, you might want big pieces. You know, something like that size that'll break up and stew. You could do that. You could also leaving that root in there. Get whole nice quarters like this. You could cook these whole, braise these, roast these. Or if you like thicker coleslaw, you know, you could go thick like this. So let's do a quick review of what we've done. Can you guess who did by hand or who did mandolin? This is done with the mandolin in a very thin setting. That's done with my hand. This is like a thicker coleslaw if you're into that. Not, not my favorite, but some people like it. And then if you wanted to braise it or cook it or roast it in big pieces, you can use quarters or quarter quarters, something like this. So there's just a few ways you can cut and prepare cabbage. Well, that concludes today's Back to Basics episodes on how to cut a cabbage. I hope you learned something today about the Mighty Cabbage, and I hope you're ready to take on one of your own. Well, that is it for today, my friend. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to leave a like. Comments are so helpful to my channel, and I will see you next time. And don't forget to subscribe.